information on his cell phone could help police crack a case, but getting that data isn't always easy. Who seized a phone in the last year? How many people? Sometimes people confess on their phone before they confess to law enforcement. Mike Lemon is a retired detective. He knows how much information suspects share on social media or in texts to friends. They'll talk about what they did with their friends or they'll try to get, if they steal something, they'll try to get, get it uh, sold to other people on the internet. Lemon says getting that information off a cell phone or computer can be crucial to an investigation. It really helps solve a lot of cases being able to basically look at their confessions before you, they confess. He started Millstone Labs to help other police departments get better, faster access to data on cell phones and computers. He taught Friday's training session, giving officers hands-on tools to get the job done. Tradition says that only large departments do their own forensics, and we're breaking tradition, saying that every department can do it. He says smaller departments traditionally send evidence, like phones and laptops, to bigger labs for forensic analysis, which he says could take weeks or sometimes months. It's a case breaker if you can actually get information back in just a few minutes while you're interviewing somebody compared to taking it and sending it off. During the training session, Lemon encouraged officers to think about the clues cyber data holds. Look for this digital evidence on every case. It doesn't matter if it's uh, a, a theft from a car or a murder or what we consider traditional computer crimes such as child pornography or embezzlement, those types of things. Lemon says they plan to do more training sessions with other departments across Kentucky and in surrounding states. Emily Maha, WLKY News.